Hello there friends once again from team AHA and today we are here to share what new is coming to you in the firmware upgrade 7 which is coming next week to your next cruises so let's take a while on discussing why exactly we need OTA updates or why a system should be OTA capable in the first place well today's state of the art systems like they have the capability of over the air updates as standard so you might already be very familiar with the uh, periodic drill in your mobile phones when sometimes so the overnight they get updated and then suddenly tomorrow you see an entire new experience in your mobile phone. Likewise, great companies like Tesla make sure that the systems that the cars that they ship are connected over the air so that they can reach out to the customer to deliver value and after sales support anytime that they wish. Likewise. Next Cruise is also built in with OTA capability and today is one of the days when this thing is going to deliver real value to all the people who have Next Cruise right from the day one uh, to today. So since your Next Cruise has the OTA capability, you know that when you bought the Next Cruise, it was not the end of the journey, it was the start of the journey. So at AHA, we take a very people centric approach to decide uh, what features should make it to the next upgrade so basically now we are connected in this beautifully connected world online we keep getting interests and requests and you know various inputs from all the users who are using the next cruise and then uh, we decide what are the biggest pain points of the users what features will really simplify the lives of the users so that's how how the feature list of the release comes into existence the people who have contributed to the present feature list of this release 7 we'd like to acknowledge them and please look at the end of the video for the credits and their names and we duly recognize them with thanks for their inputs likewise we also want to make an appeal to you if you have some particular feature request in mind please make sure to send us a dm at the handles uh, again shared at the end of the video and in the description below and uh, in the group we sometimes miss very important inputs but please send us dm so that we are sure that we don't miss your inputs so now let's get to the real deal what are the features coming to you in the firmware release 7 first and foremost the next cruise is now going to remember the state of the buttons or the settings that you have set it manually and you do not forget them even if you turn the car to neutral or even if you turn off the car you know we noticed that many people have grown to love certain features and every time they start using the car they engage that feature of the next cruise for example in the video that we shared last week mr sn nayak from chennai he mentioned that he always religiously turns on the coast button every time he starts the car and likewise uh, we have samir ji from pune who uh, always engages the eco feature every time he starts the car so we thought that why not let us make the system remember the settings so that this hassle of turning on the feature each and every time is taken care by the system itself and we can offload the user so let's demo the first feature for you where the next cruise remembers the state that you have set so the car is in drive mode so i can begin engaging the coast and all the other features so let us engage coast and eco modes so these two lights turn on and let us now put the car to neutral so that the features turn off like they have been turning off in the earlier release as well but in this release if you uh, put the car to drive then you'll notice that the features turn on again all by themselves likewise by an extension if you turn off the car altogether and uh, the we'll wait for the next cruise to turn off and i turn on the car like so and when i engage the drive mode the next cruise has also automatically engaged the coast and the eco features which i had engaged 
before I turned off the car. Second thing that we observed is that many users uh, sometimes use S mode even without using the features of Next Cruise, and they reported back that the Next Cruise affects the zippiness of the car in S mode in certain ways, very subtle ways. Most of the users don't notice it, but then they, it is there. So on this feedback, we actually went back and probed, and we basically saw in the lab is Next Cruise really doing it. And we detected that yes, Next Cruise is introducing a 60 millisecond delay in the response. Uh, when we saw it in the lab, that yes, it is there. Then we reworked on that and made the Next Cruise response four times faster. So now it is four times faster, and then we benchmarked it against a stopwatch to see if it has really made a difference. And it has. Let's look at the demo of the zippiness of the car. So what we're going to do is we will go from 0 to 60 in the new release versus the old release and we'll see the difference that time that it takes. Okay. So let's do a 0 to 60 in the new release in 3, 2, 1, go. Now we have downgraded the system to the old release and we are going to check how long it is going to take from 0 to 60 in 3, 2, 1, go. And we have 60. Next up let's talk about the deep eco feature. Well while conceiving the feature we visualized it as a feature which would guarantee a 300 km range from your car by really really taking control of the acceleration by really putting a check on the acceleration but in reality uh, users are using the deep eco feature to draw benefits of battery conservation even in city scenarios so a single bar cap is proven to be really constricting so in this release, we have increased the limit from a single bar to two bars. Now let's talk about the users of Next Cruise who are residents of hilly areas or who have guard sections in their day-to-day -day commutes. So Next Cruise uh, does a really good job in cruise control. It holds the speed where we have set it to, but when going downhill, there is a subtle braking. So to demo our next feature which is like smoothing of cruise experience when coming downhill without any coast mode engaged, we are going to a flyover which is near our office, right over there, I don't know if it's visible in the video or not, but we will climb that flyover in coast mode and we will come downhill and then see what exactly is the behavior of the cruise. So we have engaged the cruise and we are climbing the flyover. Climbing of course is not a big deal like it's the same way it's been happening all the time. Uh, so we are climbing, I can see the power being utilized on the dashboard. Okay, so we have climbed on top of the flyover and now our descent is going to start. Okay, so our descent has started. You'll notice that the energy uh, that is being utilized is not all the way. It's not going to a full one box. And it has managed to descend with delivering no jerks at all. Next enhancement that you are going to notice is the behavior of the state LED. So let us now talk about the behavior of the state LED. So in the last versions it used to be white and white means that the next cruise is ready and now you can start using it. 
but then internally nexus would always not be ready as in if the car was in neutral like it is right now uh, and still the light would tell white and then users would sometimes get confused that why it is not accepting the commands and on so now in this release onwards it shows very clearly when the next cruise is ready to accept dial commands or not so for example right now when the car is in neutral it shows yellow telling you that it is not ready and when i put it to b mode then the state turns to white and now it can start accepting commands like so so that is part number 1 and second thing that you would have noticed is that in the last releases there was a condition of pressing the speed limit and then this light would come up and only after that the coast and everything started to work but now without pressing this that condition is removed basically and you can straight away go ahead and engage whatever you want and the features will work as it is let's now talk about some minor feature enhancements which were not required by the common user of nextcruise but some users were facing these things and their life is going to be simplified because of these enhancements so first thing is that we have reworked on the dial teaching procedure so dial teaching is going to be much more successful as compared to previously and secondly certain users have been experiencing an error next cruise was throwing an error when they would floor the accelerator pedal right that was happening because um, in the software we assumed that the accelerator signal is never going to cross a particular set value but in certain cars i don't know due to what variations maybe mechanical variations or maybe uh, the accelerator pedal was allowed more physical travel in in some cars but we were actually getting higher than expected accelerator pedal input so earlier we were throwing error but now we have increased the limit of what to expect so this fix is going to be rolled out in this release and this is going to simplify lives for certain users of next cruise so friends that brings us to the end of this episode if you are new to this channel just to brief you aha next cruise is an energy management system for your electric vehicles and it gives you a set of tools to increase the battery efficiency of your car and uh, simultaneously gives you premium features and a lot of comfort in ownership of your car if you want more details head right on to the next cruise uh, website and the handles that we are sharing in the description and also at the end of this video please also join the community on telegram the handle is there in the description below with this thanks a lot for your time and please stay connected goodbye from the aha family